actually you are getting close to full fitness in terms of you know, again the end of the season, Barbarians Australia, you're okay? Yeah, I think um, to be honest, I'm just glad that things are getting better and um, just hopefully now I can play part in this big end of the season with the Scarlets and we know that if we, if we lose one game then it's probably, probably game over for us. So, um, you know, it starts at the end of the road and you hopefully got there. You put big forms in and hopefully well, we need to score some tries up there as well. How difficult is it going into a game, not just thinking of winning, but also thinking of getting four tries away from it? Yeah, I think, I think we've come unstuck in the past before when um, you know we've gone on, you know, we go into this to wherever we need to get four tries. You know, it doesn't it doesn't happen like that. Cause I think um, as a team we get pretty loose then, and you know we're at our best when we sort of just play the basics well, run hard, and you know just get over game lines. So um, you know we'll have to find that balance. But um, you know I think if we go out there. And, with the mentality to chuck the ball around, then uh, we, we could come unstuck, I think. And yet, at the same time, everyone would look at your season and say it all comes down to Munster at home, that's the, that's the make or break game. Is it hard to sort of avoid that thought yourself? No, I think after, after this point of last week, I think we're not underestimating anyone, and you know, I think it's just a case of trying to get back on that field and putting some things right that we, we got well, drastically wrong on, uh, on the weekend. That's great for me. Do you see the thing this week, obviously, Stevens? What's happening for next season? Um, Nigel's just spoke very well about him saying he's you know, you know, rank on the Scarlet Greats, really, you know, in the history books back with him. Has he learned from him, played with him, known him as a person? Can you just give your thoughts as he sort of comes towards the end of his thing? Yeah, yeah um, John, I'm not sure what, what's left to say about, about <laughs> Steve. You know, um, I think he, not just with me, but with all, all the youngsters here, he's had a major influence in. So the development and you know I think a lot of the lower scarlet players who are in the Welsh squad now is you know he's played a big part in that because he he's always demanded excellence especially well down with the scarlets and, and and with Wales and um, you know with me come over and um, you know, have a look have a look at have a look at my game and you know tell me what, where things have gone what, what I could improve or what, what one of the coaches he's worked with he's worked with a lot of great coaches what. You know, what, what advice they've given him, and it's not in a way to, to put you down. He never, he never puts anyone down. It's just because he wants everyone to get better, and he's, um, you know, he's a real passionate Scarlet, and I think his influence has really rubbed off on um, a lot of the youngsters over the last few years. Somebody once said he's somebody who's put on this earth to make everyone else feel better. Is that, is that, is that the kind of way he brings it? The kind of joy he brings to the training, everything that's involved in it. Yeah, obviously, well, everyone knows what he brings, what he brings on the field, and. How he's helped improve everyone down here, and um, you know he's probably been one of the best Scarlet players consistently for well as long as I can remember now, to be honest. But um, he plays a big part off the field. He's um, you know always upbeat, and it, you know he, he's uh, he's almost like a, like a 21, 22 year old. You know, throw, he, he has a laugh with the boys, and um, you know it's really refreshing that somebody like that who's achieved as much as him can you know have a get on so well with somebody who just come out of the academy and. Um, you know, I think that's, that's that typifies what he's about and what the, the scars are about, really. So you think, having played in the position he's played in, which you have a taste of now, as the Wales number 10, you're going to get flack, you're going to get criticism, but the way he's dealt with that and kept that kind of optimism and enthusiasm, that's kind of lesson for everyone as well, I suppose. Because so, you might find yourself in that situation at one time in the future. And the way he's dealt with that, would you sort of reflect on that? I think, yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah, I think, well, what, what I've learned is, is, you know, it's not really... It doesn't really matter what um, you know, what the public say or the, or the press. Really, it's really down to what, what the coaches say and your fellow players. And um, to be honest, in the game, everyone just got the, the utmost respect for Steve. And you know, everyone knows what he, what he does on the field and what he brings, what he brings for a team. You know, he gives hundred percent. He's you know, he great ball player and um, great kicker. And you know, his defence is probably one of the best, if not the best, for a for a ten in the world. So um, to be honest, I think he. he I personally think he's been one of the best tens in the world for for, for such a long time, and um, to do that, you know, you've got to take your hat off to him. As, as well as the playing aspect, you mentioned that how he tries to impart you know, wisdom with the younger players. Do you see him sort of passing that mantle on to you now? Will you have to you know, play that role with the younger players now? No, I don't think I'm ready for that. I think uh, <laughs> no, they don't respect me enough for that. <laughs> Not even the witless knuckles in the academy. Um, no, I struggle because he, even Liam Williams has given me some uh, some grief, so you know you're struggling then. Be getting back with the tattoo. <laughs> yeah. 
no, but I think um, you know, there's, a, there's a group of us now who who've been here for a number of years, and um, you know, with Steve leaving and Sean, you know, they're two two senior, you know, well-established internationals in the back. That we're losing from the back line, so um, you know, it's going to be up to sort of the younger boys to to sort of demand the excellence in training and to try and raise the standards and. Um, you know, it'll be a big test for us next year, especially with those two even. Yeah, Nigel said in the week that it's time that this team came of age. Those are his words. Is that a feeling among the younger players, yourself included? I don't know, young, I feel quite old this team, to be honest. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I think it's going to be a big test for us because, um, you know, Steve's the most capital Welsh international and obviously Sean, he's, uh, he's got 50, 60 odd, maybe 60 caps for, for Scotland. and. You know, you can tell when when they speak, so everyone everyone listens, and you know they have they have improved. They they give you the knowledge they've had over the years, and um, to be honest, I think it's been good with the squad. Everyone everyone's eager to learn here, and um, you know some of the boys have learned something, some different stuff with with the Welsh squad during the World Cup and Six Nations. So it's you know maybe bringing some of that experience you've learned there. But um, yeah, it is it is time that some of the some of the younger boys. Well, less experienced boys, you know, they'll become the more, most experienced boys. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be a big test for us. I'm still in with the show for the playoffs. How, how good would it be if you could uh, give them a send off with the, the trophy? Yeah, it'd be great. You know, it's, it's going to be difficult for us. But um, you know, after the disappointment of last week, I think um, we, we all feel like we've let, let a chance go of winning from silverware. So it's, you know, we've got one one competition left now, so we're going to have to go out and give it our best and you know improve in the areas that we. Poor up in the weekend, and um, you know you, ne- you never know because uh, you get three wins and could be a could sneak into the playoffs maybe.